Welcome back. How you guys doing? Excited to be here. We are here in Sandy, Utah at Lakai. We are from this gorgeous wedding today from Macy and Isaac, one of our favorite planners, Britt Warnick. And this is at the Lakai restaurant that she has completely transformed into this textural, ethereal greenhouse based in luxury. It's just, I'm just obsessed. So right now I'm on the FX3 with the 24 millimeter prime. I was on the 50 before our behind the scenes guy showed up. Shout out to Dylan Simpson once again. Yeah. Cool. Would love to. Also, this club is a vibe. Oh my gosh. You guys. <laughs> Brett, I am not well. <laughs> I am not well. This is perfect. Beautiful. It's so perfect. No, I'm so Actually, I filmed the entire thing in 60 frames. Whoops. Look at each other. Look at me, big smile. Got it. Amazing. We made it. We're gonna give him a mic. We made it. <laughs> we'll be right. right back. So that was a really sweet moment. We just filmed the bride and groom's reaction to, I guess, the room reveal. Always a planner's favorite, seeing how the clients see the room for the first time and did not disappoint. The clients were just excited out of their mind. I've already shot the hell out of this room. Uh, on the 50, on the 24 millimeter prime, Sigma. I came here a little bit early to film the planners team, adding placemats, plates, behind the scenes. Wanted to make them some behind the scenes reels, kind of before and afters. Again, this planner gives us a lot of work, so we want to make sure she's taken care of. And this is a pretty big portfolio piece for her, so we want to make sure we overkill it. And for us. Okay. Okay, hey, did you guys get the details in all, like, all Yeah, we shot the bar. Okay. The, like, the welcome? Yep, oh, get yeah, the next, yep, getting the next, yep. My beautiful okay. business partner, Nate T, and everyone. My beautiful business partner, Jacob Weisler. Let me get this rolling. So I'm just telling them, I've shot the hell out of this room on the 24 and the 50. I focus on textures, like, you know, the drapes, the linens, the plates, florals. I haven't shot on the 85 yet, which is Nate's bread and butter. So Nate's gonna just do a pass and get those tight, beautiful money shots for the design. I also not shot the food table because it wasn't ready until just now. Also, you guys, kind of a fun addition to the team today is Athy. The couple wanted a content creator and they were okay with it being someone who had never done it before. But Athi's usually doing a lot of iPhone behind the scenes for us anyway, so Athi got hired for this wedding to be a content creator. So there's three of us today shooting this wedding. That, that poor photographer. So, very bright out here. Let's hope Dylan can actually do proper exposure this time. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I wanted to give the planner and designers, the florists, an abundance of content and a variety of content from different angles, focal lengths. We asked the planner and the designer, what is your favorite table? And so they actually had three tables, like this one, this one, and this one, all for different reasons. And I made sure I got all those tables. And now we're just kind of filming some extra space. Uh, on this timeline, there was like two dedicated hours for just me to film the space. And you might think, oh, it's more time than you need. It's like, well, yeah, but what does that tell you about the planner's desires and how you can add value to them? If they're giving you two hours for that, that means it's very important to them. So be valuable, be useful, and add variety. I saw this TikTok a few months ago, a month ago, of this videographer shooting this couple dancing out in like Yosemite or something. It was just crazy wide shot. The lights come behind the mountains. Probably the prettiest thing I've ever seen. I'll actually, I'll overlay it here. It was so beautiful, I went and bought the lens he was using, which is this 24 millimeter prime. He was on the FX30, I'm on the FX3, so I bought the a, a slightly different one. I think he has the 23, this is the 24 but I've been loving it. Also, you guys would be happy to know, no ND filter, so I'm at F16 to keep a 125 shutter, just to have an even exposure. And even that's not working, because how bright it is, I'm shooting a white thing. So I'm actually shooting at F16, ISO 640, and a shutter speed of one over 320, which is okay, because I'm shooting in 60 frames. When you slow it down, there's really no movement. You really won't be able to see any of the shutter speed doing anything jittery or ugly. If you watch my movements, I'm really just doing very timeless, very you know subtle push-ins and parallaxes. Sometimes pull-outs. I think pull-outs have their time and place. You know, kind of represents ending 
a scene. So if we're welcoming people into the reception. I want to push in. How you doing? I'm good. How are the portraits on the iPhone? They're good. Looking great. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's hard to make that look bad. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact: this restaurant is where I first met Parker Walbeck back in 2017. Yeah, seven years ago. He had to do a music video here, needed extras, and I volunteered. And after the music video, on these grounds, I asked him for a job and he said no. <laughs> so, kind of a meaningful moment for me, being back here. So, for this, I wanna show off more of the scene. Got the little Kai banner, got these florals, got the bar. And that's gorgeous. Checking my exposure. I just bought this lens and so I don't have a step up ring. I would like to add an ND filter to it. But the perk of a 24 is I'm usually wanting to be at like a high f stop at like f10. So I'm doing wide shots. Whereas on the 50, I want a bokeh. So I want to be a low f stop. So that's why I need the ND filter more for the 50. I definitely would like it for this for like outdoor, for example. But unlike the 50, I don't feel as bad cranking my f stop on this because it still looks pretty good versus the 50. Yo. <clears throat> Hey YouTube, it's been a sec, doing pretty good. So first thing that Jake said to me when I showed up, like, don't worry about it, I got it all, 24 to 70, 50. Didn't get the 85, so we got the 85. Um, actually, this is looking really good on the 16 to 35. This is just like a really wide space. So I'm pumping out some content with the 16 millimeter and I'm really loving the results. This is a lens that we don't use a whole lot. The GM2 16 to 35 or just the GM, one of those, I don't know. So I'm just getting some wide sweeping slow push, slow pulls, slow pans, things like that. Really just showing off the whole architecture of the whole entire room. When you're done, Brandon, I'm just gonna hop right in front and get a slow push in, straight yeah, down the middle. Yeah. Whenever you're good though. What? Okay. All right, slow push in. I'm shooting in 60 frames a second, one over 125. I have two point eight. Oh, it is. Man, I'm loving the 16 millimeter. This is something we always want to do, but we never get. Yeah, this is really pretty. I know, there's like too many details to capture. Yeah. And to me, like, let's say I was a second shooter and Jake was the first shooter. If you've already done everything, like for example, if you've already set up tripods, you've already set up audio and things like that, something that's a huge benefit to a first shooter and what they're gonna hire you again for to second shoot for them is if you just get different focal length of maybe the same stuff they've already got. Don't be afraid to just shoot something that's already been shot. Just get a different focal length. And we're good here. Yeah. I like the lemonade shot. We'll keep it. Should have seen that lemonade shot, Jake. I think could I send you on an errand? Yeah. Do you to pronounce? Huh? Do you do you heart do you pronounce the D at the end of errand? An errand? Do you an pronounce errand? the D? An errand? An errand? Yeah. Run on an so. errand. I guess it's an errand. Do you say errand? Nate's from Utah. He says oh. errand. I think my mom errand. says errand. I'm gonna run errand. So I never really. He says errand, and then he also he says. says mm. Yeah, and then he also says, "Here's the deal." That's what Nate says. Nate, Nate says, "Here's the deal." Okay, no, I no, say, "Here's the deal." No, no, here. I got, I got. In the sentence, I don't say the deal, but if I say the word, I'm running an errand. Running an errand. Always. I'm gonna run an errand. <laughs> I'm running an errand. Because what if Aaron's with you? I'm running an errand with Aaron. They're not gonna get that. Okay, but if I'm with an errand, they're not gonna get that. Sure Anyways. Anyways. Audio. Here's the deal. I promise. What's the errand? <laughs> the errand. I need to go to my Civic and get the tripods out of my car. Okay. Uh, All right, speeches. Shooting on a four camera speech setup, two FX3s and then two ZVE1s. You know, we love these things. Uh, these will be on Sigma 7200s. Uh, we'll be using two tripods and I'll actually be going onto a monopod after this. Uh, and then Nate will be on a gimbal still. Um, the two ZVE1s will be the speech cameras. So for the speech giver and for the couple's reaction, the monopod, and the Roman camera will kind of be for audience reactions and B-roll. As for audio, we're plugging in the Zoom F3 to the house audio system. There's no DJ, it's just the house system we have to use. So we'll be using that. 
uh, as a backup, we'll have the TX660 on the handheld mic. And that's actually our only two sources of audio. And we're gonna hardwire the F3. We have to hardwire the F3 because the F3 is dead. So, which actually I like more because I have more faith in the F3. Let's. But it just begs the question. I think you posed this question one time. Why don't we just go back to the F6? We should. the The spirit was we wanted to have smaller gear, but it's. I'd it's rather have more reliable gear, have it be slightly bigger. I didn't tell Athy which trap on to grab. There's a lot in there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give him a call. Yep. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. <laughs> high, high stepping over babies. Amen. Amen. I never know if it's okay to film during the prayer or not. You guys don't have an XLR to eighth inch, do you? No. We're screwed. This thing's loose or something. This is my first time using this YC Onion tripod right here. Um, honestly, you don't even need like any instruction manual or anything. This thing is really nice. Um, it has these little clamps. So if it's all the way down like this, instead of having to undo everything like the uh, Peak Design tripod, tripods that we have, just lift those clasps, lift it up. Each leg pops out like that. It took me three seconds. With the Peak Design, it probably takes, I don't know, somewhere like around a minute. Something I'm really liking is this little lever. I'd never seen this before. So if I click that, I can move this around really easily. And there's a level right there and I can see if my camera, boom. I can now see my camera, it's perfectly level. So there's a level right there. And then there's a level right here to show if the legs are perpendicular to the floor. And then a level to see if the head is level. So I'm saying level a lot. Yeah, we got our speech to English covered. We're happy with it. Should be good. Audio sounds great. Got a backup lot, uh, TX60 on the mic. This spot's not gonna work. It's just too busy. They're just, the uh, the catering people just keep walking into the camera all the time. So speeches start once the last table's been served. I think they're just gonna keep walking through so. though. Like down this. I think they're just yeah, It's hard to get walking. this start anyway, huh? Yeah. Well, let's just put this halfway through and say that's where we are. That'd be you need to tell catering, <coughs> serve the plates, yep. and then we're gonna do speeches. And then just ask that that center aisle is clear. Yeah, she's the center aisle. Will you do that? <clears throat> Doing good. We had to adjust slightly, but Nate is manning the speech cam. Uh, 7200. What? Nate's laughing at me. Um, then we have the couple cam shooting straight down the aisle. Uh, it looks great. Love the framing. And then I have a C cam just as a backup on the monopod, which is the YC Onion monopod. Um, staying all by itself. Um, just as a safety angle, just in case. As for audio, we have the TX660 rolling on the handheld mic, and then uh, the best source of audio we figured out is the Zoom F3, plugged in, sadly, behind the head table, so it's kind of hard to, to monitor. The one issue we're gonna run into is the lighting. We have no external lighting. We're dealing with fully natural lighting, which kind of sucks, um, but I have to fix that in post. So when in doubt, backlight. Um, backlighting your subject is just a great way to get an even image so we can fix it in post if we need to. All right. She FaceTimed my husband and I for some advice. She explained that she was starting to have feelings for her best friend. That's a wrap. We are off to film the rest of the reception, some flat lays, some details and things like that, but it went really well. A few hiccups. Definitely like a tight space for the amount of people that there were, yeah. including staff, but made it work. Really happy with the couple's reaction angle. Yeah. Really love, really love this monopod, actually. I'm loving that everyone's kind of getting on the, the lever thing and the tripod too. Tripod is great, very so intuitive. Nice. 
we'll do a full more in-depth video about the tripod uh, in the coming weeks. So yeah, great. We're gonna head back to work. Uh, thought you'd give a little inside look on a, a little portion of today's wedding. But thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.